All right, so I don't know if anything looks different in here or not, like in this little area from what you normally see, but I got new studio lights located in the studio. I got new studio lights located in the studio. That made absolutely no sense. I got new lights in here. They're made by Godox. They're SL150 and SL60 light. I got them one off this way. I got one off this way. They are, they were pretty expensive, but they're very, very worth it. And I know I never talk about the gear that I'm using or the lighting or anything like that, but if, if something, if, if, uh, what, what am I trying to say? If you're interested in knowing, like, what do I use to make these videos, lighting cameras, different things like that, let me know, drop me a comment below and maybe I'll do a video on that of maybe if you guys want to record something that you're doing, I can just show you how I have it set up. But these lights are absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, they're made by Godox. They didn't sponsor this video, but I just want to say to the people over at Godox, these lights are absolutely amazing and I'm completely thrilled. I'm definitely going to go back and I'm going to buy more for the other set on the other side of my studio. So with all that said, Let's go ahead and start talking about today's painting. This is one where if you've never done it before, I am 110% sure that you can do it. So just put everything aside for a minute. Just take all your life's problems, just kind of compartmentalize them into the back of your brain somewhere. Get your paint brushes out, get your paints out and go ahead and follow along with this. It's something that, I, like I said, I really believe that you can do it. Um, I, I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm moving on three years here of doing this. And if I can do any of this stuff, so can you, if you just put your mind to it. You have to have the right mindset when you do this stuff. You just have to believe in your mind, I can do that. And don't worry about the little things that you would interpret as mistakes or whatever, because I have the same things. I just, I just don't let it process into the right side of my brain, which I think is the creative side. Or is that the left side? Which side of your brain is the creative side? The left or the right? Okay, so we're off topic now as usual. So let's go ahead and get started. Get all your stuff together. I'm using the same colors that I use every single video made by Gamblin 1980 series. If you haven't checked out Gamblin, head over, check them out. They're a very, very good company and I stand behind their paint and their products because I have personally tried each and every one of them. They're just, they're just outstanding. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I, I took some of the clear gel and some white paint, like a 50-50 mixture, and I put it up here. I've actually put it on the whole canvas, the entire thing, a real thin coat. And then I took a paper towel and I went over top and wiped it off. Okay, so whatever. Now the canvases that I, the reason I, when I wipe it off, some of it will stay inside of here because the canvases that I use are made by Sunbelt. I'll put a link below. You wanna go check them out. They're very good canvases. They have grain to them. And the medium that I mix up and put on here, even if I wipe it with a paper towel, the medium gets trapped inside these little grain areas or whatever you want to call it. So it's there, it's present. If you have a smooth canvas and you do that and wipe it all off, it's probably all going to come off and it's going to be a nightmare to work with. So yeah, just wanted to throw that in there. All right, all right. And I, like I said, I covered the whole canvas. So let's see, do I feel like holding this palette today or what? Okay, so this is a super, super easy painting. So we're gonna probably stick to a single color in the sky rather than two different colors. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, a little bit of blue. Now all the colors are listed below here. And I'm gonna try to hold this palette up here and there. I'll call out the colors that I'm using. A little bit of blue. I always flip the brush over like that. You see that? And I smash it in. All right, and what that does is it really does, it helps distribute the paint. So you don't have like super big, uh, super big streaks in, into your painting. All right, left to right, right to left, doesn't really matter. Spread this color around. I've only loaded it once so far. It's probably good enough. And now I use like a little bit of a lighter pressure as I get further down here, just like this. So 
So what am I, about a third of the way down, okay? I could do two things. I could wipe my, uh, I could wipe my brush off on a paper towel, okay? Or I'm gonna use some of this color down here in the water anyway, so just, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna spread it down here. Or, you know, you could use a paper towel to wipe it off, whatever. Let me set this palette down for a second. And I think that's I think that's good enough. All right. All right, yeah, I'm still going to actually wipe it. I'm just going to wipe some of the excess paint off of here. And go right up here. I just want it to be a little bit lighter. It helps with, you know, depth and all that good stuff. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through looking for any like harsh areas, any, you know, where you can see major brush strokes. And I'm just blending them out. All right, I think that's pretty good. Something like that right there. Trying to keep this nice and easy for you guys. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we're gonna make a cloud here. Let me just boop, pop that back up on the magnet. And all right, let's go ahead and make a cloud. Let me move these out of the way. Now, for you guys that follow me on Facebook, I have been experimenting with this knife right here, and it has, it has three different blades on it, okay, three edges. So I'm going to ex experiment a little bit more with this, and if I really, really end up liking it in a month or two, I may go ahead and uh, put some of them out. So let me grab a fan brush. Here we go, fan brush, boom, palette, clouds. Simple, simple clouds right here. Fan brush, some white paint. I load both sides, always. Boom, just like that. And right about there little baby circles. And I flip the corner, flip it over, flip it over, go up and down, get some more, get some more white on there. I'll go right off the canvas, right up here like this. All right. And I'm gonna put something right here, just to give you, you know, a basic concept of how to make a cloud. You should totally be doing this. You should totally be following along because you could definitely not only learn, but you could, you know, pass this along and teach somebody else. You could put little distant things like this. These will, you know, maybe look like they're super far away. All right. Let me set that palette down. Just give that a quick wipe off. And then I'm just gonna, I'll probably just grab this, this big dirty two inch right here. And just go in and just kind of soften these up just a little bit. Just the bottom portion of it. Now if you want, you could, you could make one first and then do this and then go in and make the second cloud. You could do that, but I just figured I'd make them both at once. All right. I always wipe the, uh, I always give it a quick wipe on the paper towel. I'm gonna lift these up a little bit here. Just work it back like this. All right, now that'll give you a basic idea of a cloud. Now, let me grab that fan brush real quick again. If you want, I'm just getting more white paint on here. If you want, you can go back after you've done this already and you can actually add some more white paint to this. You know, if you want it to be brighter in certain areas, you can totally do that, see? Or change the shape or whatever and then go right back to 
the big brush and then just salt, you know, carefully. Kind of do the same, the same thing again. Lift it up, lift it up. You see what I mean? You could do so many different things with this. Um, and these little side winder clouds just sweep right over them. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, all right. All right. Get the old paper towels here. All right, I'm going to grab this knife right now. I'll pick the palette up too. All right, let's take uh, blue and a little bit of black. Ooh, that's a lot of that. Lizard and crimson. Blue, black, crimson. Let me get some white in here and see what color this is. Looks good. Blue, black, and crimson. All right, so this is going to be just like a, I'll call this a beginner mountain, I suppose, because I'm going to just, you never hear people say, oh, don't make a triangle, don't make a dome, don't make a pyramid. Well, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a pyramid. So I'm going to go right like this. I'm going to go right up here and right like this. See this? I want you to do the same thing, all right? So that is like a triangle or whatever, pyramid, triangle, whatever just like that drag it down if you want you know you could put a little bump in it just to mix it up right about here all right and then maybe yeah just a little something there i suppose all right but it's basically basically a pyramid just to give you the idea of what's going on here all right Set that knife down. I'm just going to grab this old dirty brush here and start just pulling some of this out like this. And it has like a cool little purple color to it, which is nice, different. I'm not using any pressure on this. I'm barely bending the bristles on this. Unless I want to actually change the shape of something, I'm not using a lot of pressure, so. Okay, so there we have that. Let me put the old two inch brush back up there. All right, get the palette. I'm just going to scoop some of this white paint right here. I like this knife. It's like so, the knife is like extremely sturdy. It's sturdier than any knife I've ever used before. Okay, here we go. Set her down and whip it right down the side, just like that. I always scoop the dirty paint off of the knife somewhere else. All right, so I can get some more, just like that. And come right up here and then. And this is this knife is so good for breaking like the snow and stuff. It's just so so good. A little bit more right down here. All right, and I'm just going to keep sort of repeating the same process here. Maybe a little bit there like that. Drop some back here too, maybe just a little bit. something like that okay all right so while we got this knife going I'm gonna grab just this little pile of white right here and I'm just gonna get some blue just to make you know shadow let me get some more white in there I think that looks good right there and then just start coming up here and just dropping some of the shadow color in into our pyramid that we made because that's what we made. 
made a nice little pyramid today. And you can go in the little areas here, whatever, here, there, there, a little bit up there maybe. All right. I'm going to wipe this off on the palette, and then I'm going to get a little bit more white here and just kind of split this line here a little bit up right down the center just so it's not a straight line and maybe make it come this way a little bit just like that all right so here's our base color right here so the closer you get maybe you want to darken it up a little bit it'll help it look a little bit closer here just a little bit right down to the front okay so there's the pyramid and we sort of turn that into a uh, <clears throat> into a mountain so you can take a pyramid and work with it. Two inch brush, wipe it off, give it a little wipe real quick, and I'm just gonna come up here and just tap on this a hair. You might wanna get a clean brush, it'll, it'll help you having a you know, nice clean brush. I'm just, just kinda working this in nicely, just softening up the bottom of this here. I'm gonna tap here, just like this. Same thing up here, little taps. Lift it, lift it, lift it in the back. It makes it look far away. You can actually drag some of this down if you want. See? Just like that. And sometimes these mountains, they grow a little bit on you. They do get bigger than what, <laughs> what you uh, were expecting. All right. Let me set this roll of paper towels down. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this fan brush off here. And I'm gonna start making a bunch of trees, okay? Now, we're, we're not going to have any super far trees, you know, far away ones, all right? So let's do this. Let's take, I'm going to use a lot of this. So green, black, just a little brown, a little blue. I'm just really just changing the green so it's not like a out of the tube green. All right. And I'm probably going to start... Where do I want to start? I'll probably start right about here, somewhere right here. I'm going to make a little line, come down here. I always get more paint on here. And then, do I want to do up or down? Let me see. Let me make this first tree and see if I want to make down trees or up trees. Oh, maybe I'll try down trees today. I love the trees that go upward, though. Let me get a little bit more black and a little bit more blue into this green. All right, so to give you an idea of where we're going, this water kind of goes like this. It wraps around here. It goes up like that way there. So yeah, better it goes off this way. It wraps around the front like that. Then we have some land here, okay? And then we have some land that comes off of here and it kind of works around like this. So this is gonna be our, our water area because it's a close up. So that's just a little baby sketch there for you. All right, let me put another tree right there. See that skip a spot? I'm using the corner. I always use the corner. Darken this up a little bit more blue. Skip a spot. 
that gives you those those good little limbs. You see? I'm going to keep darkening this color up. Blue, green, little crimson, crimson. It looks black. It looks black on the palette. All right, let's make one right here, growing into this guy. All right. Let's do one maybe here. I keep just reloading. That's what I'm doing. A little bit more blue, green. This is just a very dark green color. See that? Skip a spot. All right. Now, over here, I'm going to just take my fan brush and I'm going to push some of this color in just so it's there. The color's there. We can work with it. As a matter of fact, we'll make some trees in here, but we'll pull some of this up. This will serve as a good little background detail. Back to our color. And then we can make the trees can get a little smaller as they go back. You see that right there? I'm just gonna add a few little trees here, there, up and down, all over the place. You can you know tap up and down if you want to. It's another good way, tapping up and down and then adding a little bit of detail to those. All right, and I'm just going to put a little bit of a bigger one here. Because this is like we're looking at a lake pretty much. Close up view. And that's all this is, is just a bunch of bunch of good old pine trees. Make this one right up to the uh, bottom of that mountain right there. All right, not too much going on over here because we got a, something big going in front of here. So let me just get some color back here. Swirl it in if you want, doesn't matter. If anything shows through, that'll be fine. Okay. So let's do this while we're here. I'm just gonna, you know, I was gonna say not carefully, just loosely, just put some of this, you know, color in just where the big trees are. You okay, you put it down like this, see? Same here. And make them, make them equal. If it's higher here, make it lower here. All right, put some of that dark right there maybe big tree here. We got some land so we don't have to go all the way down. That'll just go to there. All right. Now let's see here. Yeah, I'll just take this dirty two inch. You might want to get a clean one. I'm just going to take this and just pull some of this down just a little bit for right now. And then work it sideways. Just like that. See that? And that just that gives you a nice little reflection for right now. All right, I got to get some more blue, green, and black. All right, I'm going to put a large tree, larger tree, right about there. So come up here, touch. See that right there? Those are the nice, those are the good limbs right there, the little hangy limbs or whatever the heck you call them flip sides and just down here it doesn't even matter just get some of the color in All right. uh, let's put one more in the middle here just to close that gap up and it's okay if some light white areas show through that's good that'll be good for depth Where are we going here? Let's see here. You know what? This fan brush seems to be doing okay. So let's get some more blue, black, green, and let's get a little crimson. All right. And then let's go. Let's put some of this land in here real quick. Just, you know, just some dark color. 
That's all it is. It, as long as it's dark, it's, it's fine. And I'm just pushing up with the fan brush. Getting a little bit more blue and black in there because I, I want it to be dark. And I'm not worried about this sketch line I'm going over or whatever because there is going to be a shadow. All right. Right about here somewhere. Something like that. So let's grab this two inch real quick and pull some of this color down like this just so it's there. It's ready to go. And I haven't, I mean, I clean the fan brush, but I, I never clean any of my brushes, like big brushes, during a picture. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Moving right along, moving right along. I just got to put a little bit more dark color right in here like this, because this, I'll show you why I do this in one second. I want that to be land that kind of comes out right here. Okay. I'm going to set this fan brush down and I'm going to grab me a two inch, two inch brush and I'm going to get some white that I have here mixed up and some yellow that's going to thin it down. So, all right, so I have, I have some of my gel, my clear gel that I use. Okay. And I mix that with white and that thins, that does thin the paint down a little bit and I'm just thinning it here because the paint that I put on is kind of, it's kind of thick and it's pretty wet, but I want to get a nice little green color here. So I got yellow, green, and I'm going to take this one inch and I'm tapping, tapping right into that. All right. And I'm going to put, I'm going to start right here. I'm just going to put some land right here. That's why I just see, that's why I put that dark color in. Go right back here into the color. See that? And I'm just touching it carefully. And this is making my land. All right, light's coming this way, so I want to put some nice bright something right there. This will show the background. All right. And I'm just going in at this point, the paint's not even thinned down anymore, but there's a, there's, you know, a little bit more of it on the brush than normal. Good little amount right there. And just a nice little easy touch is all that you need. Right down to the water. We're going to put a little line in here in a minute. All right, let me put that back up like that real quick. I'm going to set this palette down. And where's my dirty fan brush? We're going to go back to our dark color, our blue, black, and green blue, black, and green, and yeah, I'm going to put some, I'm going to smash a little bit of color right in here like this. See this? Something like that right here. I'm just getting some more paint. And I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to put some of that dark color here too. And I'm just going to leave the center of this kind of open right now. Leave a little spot there and I'll show you why. All right, all right. I'm going to set the fan brush down and get me another one inch here. Another one inch brush right here. And I'm going to take, I'm going to use our dark color, but I'm going to take, <clears throat> let's just get some more blue, green, black, a little bit more green. This is not thinned down. I'm just going to pull through. And I'm going to get some dark color on here and I'm going to come right up here and I'm going to start just pushing in something. All right. 
keep reloading. Blue, green, a little black. And then right about here. I'm pushing up, see? And I see how I keep reloading? I keep going back. Because if you keep pressing and pressing, it's just gonna get you know muddy and it's not gonna work too good. And I'm gonna go right up to the land here that we made. Something like that right there. And actually I'm gonna go just a little bit higher. <clears throat> a little bit higher on this tree something like that maybe all right all right now let me set that down I'm gonna wipe this wipe this one inch brush off here now I'm gonna dip into my thin down medium here. Let me pick this palette back up. So I got some, this paint is, it's thin. All right. So I'm pulling through it. I'm pulling through it. All right, and before we move over to this side, I'm actually gonna take some of this color here. I'll tell you something cool that you can do. Here's something cool that you can do. Take a dirty fan brush, right? Doesn't matter. Get a little bit of brown on here, see? A little bit of brown. Come right up here. All right, drop something in there maybe. Maybe something comes down like this. All right, just little little something little it's a little indication that there could be something there it could be a tree trunk of some some kind all right pulling through this pile right here it's thinned down and I'm gonna come right up here all right going right back into my pile sticking to the outer edges and I keep doing that I'm losing my voice huh I keep doing that I'm gonna come right down in here See, and just make different, you know, different little branches and stuff. Branches, clumps. All right, and I keep reloading. It's so, it's important. It's so important that you keep reloading. And you can change the colors on this. You can randomly change colors. I'm just kind of trying to stick to something a little bit more easy here. All right. And I'm just touching. It's key though, going back in here and reloading. If you don't do that, you know, it's, it's gonna be tough. All right, and it looks like there's one in the back here. Let's give him a little, little color in his life. <laughs> give him a little color in his life, that's funny. I don't even know what, I, I swear, I, I gotta start watching these videos back to see some of the things that I'm saying in them. Okay, so while we're at it, let me just dip a little bit more of our our gel and our white here. And get some more of this yellow color. Well it's like a it's just like a very, very light green actually. And let's do this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get some yellow ochre mixed in here just so I can change the color so it's not too close to the tree color up here and let's go right here and put a few of these guys in here and you could just keep doing this get some of our crimson color here some of the crimson put some right there keep 
keep reloading. All right, now let's get some of this yellowish color, whatever, and I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to spot some of this in, right? Pulling it through, still pulling it through. It's not exact, right? That's not what people are going to see. They're not going to see exact because it's, it's something. It's something close is what I'm trying to say here. See? Something close. All right. Now let's do this real quick carefully. Pull that and then... All right, put that right back like that. It's something close, and once we put a water line in here, you'll understand it a little bit better. All right, back to our, hmm, do I want to use that color or that brush? Let me see here. Let me grab this other brush and get some more of a yellow color here. Yeah, I want it to be a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to come right here. And put some, you know, things right here too. Just right on top. Just like this. Choo, choo, choo. Get some yellow ochre. Get some yellow ochre in here like this. But reload. Make sure that you reload. And just switched brushes. Go up here. Pop a few in right there. Get some of that crimson color. Some of that nice crimson right there. Just so it's there. Now, I'm holding uh, everything. Palette, brush, let me grab brown with a tad of black in it. All right, and then I'm gonna go right, just right about here like this. I'm, I'm even like scraping this in sideways. It doesn't really matter. All right. Starts off more thin back here and then it gets wider as you get closer to you. Okay, that's what that does for perspective purposes. All right, while I'm at it, let me grab just some white. There's a little blue mix in there, that's fine. And I come right here and just, I just wanna drop some of this color onto it, carefully going across like this. All right, let me set this knife back down. Okay, now we can go back here. We can go back here and then we can start, you know, putting little things in like that. You know, little areas of bushes and stuff. All right. Let me get some red, actually. I think red will be a nice addition here. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Now right here. And also leave 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 some of the dark because you're gonna need the dark. Leave the dark, it helps. Well I'm all out of yellow. So I'm just smashing a few little things in there like that. Boom. One little baby one there. And then you can hold I'm just using my yellows by the way, yellow ochre or whatever. And you can actually just push in if you want. And then you can come in sideways. And this just kind of helps everything grow together. You can use a fan brush for this too. See? Put a little color right there. Something like that. Something like that. All right, let me set this palette down here real quick. And put this brush back up here before I make a mess. All right, I'm just gonna scoop up uh, some white. I gotta wipe 
this knife off because I got some brown in, in the color. So white, and then there's there's there is a little bit of blue, which is totally fine. So it's not a pure white. All right, so I got some on here on the knife. And I'm going to come back here like this, and I'm going to push pretty pretty strong here, strongly, and make those two little. You see that water line back there, and then we'll get some more. And I'm going to wrap it right around like this. Okay. And I'm pushing pretty strong. Ish. Strong. Ish. Is that a word? This will give you a little, little water line. <clears throat> and then we can come back in. You could take this brush and you can, you know, make stuff grow, you know, right up to it if you want. You could do that. Or you can put brown in there and make rocks. There's like all kinds of different things that, you know, that you can do. I'm going to wipe this knife off here. Got the old fan brush here. Let me rinse that off real quick. I'm going to go into yellow. Now, there's a little bit of thinner on my... Uh, Hey, fan brush because I just washed it out a little bit. So there's a little bit of thinner. I have yellow and green. So I just want to come up here and just spot on some uh, color to this. Not not a whole lot, but just just enough to where you'll be like, oh, cool, it's a different color. You know, a little here maybe, and I'm like really going down here pretty quickly. You don't have to do every tree. Every other tree is probably good. And then there's some back here you could do a little bit on. See, I always use the corner and I always move fast because it helps. And remember, if you put too much highlight on something, it's not going. It's not going to stand out good. So don't put, don't put too much highlight on your trees. You know, skip areas. You know, do stuff like that. It just makes it more interesting. All right, I'm going to zoom out here. Zoom out. Uh, yeah, I like this controller. I, I love this remote control that I have. It's uh, convenience, and I'm lazy. So laziness and convenience kind of go together in my world. I'm just kidding. I'm not lazy. I'm actually very motivated. I'm a very motivated person. I hope you guys like these lights in here. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know how it looks. How does the lighting look in this video? Reminder to myself: put something across the screen. How do light? How does the lighting look? I'm curious. Uh, thank you, Godox, for making such a great light. I will be buying more soon. I mean, unless you want to, you know, unless you want to send some over, feel free, send them over. I can do a review on them. I'm sure a lot of people would buy them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is something that I personally believe that you can do. Take two hours out of your life and try to focus on doing it. Um, follow along. You can pause the video. You can watch it back and all that stuff. I just want you guys to be happy. That's my goal, to make you happy, and I hope I hope I continue to do so. As long as this good YouTube platform stays here, nothing disappears, nothing happens, I will be here on a regular basis. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all of the things for me, and I would greatly appreciate that. Have a great day, and I will see you in the very next video. See ya.